Hey everyone, today we're in Connecticut unclogging a culvert, which has been problematic by the beavers for many years for the Connecticut DOT. I've been on this road before in the past where it's literally been flooding over, then the DOT cleared it. We're going to be unclogging it today, releasing some water. You see the old beaver structure, which was a failed solution by the DOT, has been removed, and now they just got to come in here. And unclogging occasionally. This is another solution alternate from that. This was a cage that was around it. See pieces of rebar. So many things they tried to do. Failed. Didn't work. Here we go. We got like a foot of sludge and junk in front of it. We're going to go ahead and clear this today. Look at that. The skies are becoming beautiful. So I got my big tall boots on right now, and I'm thinking I can just go in there. Woo! All right, everyone, here we go. How deep is this? Can I stay in there? Oh, great, yes I can. Hopefully the beavers don't get angry. Well, quite the long one. We'll fish this out at the end. Oh, we're getting some current.
Oh, that was awesome. All right, everybody, that was totally awesome. Can anyone else hear those beautiful tree frogs singing? Anyways, look at this. When I started just looking down there, I thought maybe this was an 18 inch pipe. No, that thing is absolutely huge. There's so much down there you couldn't see before. And the beaver dam, you see how far out it actually went? That's why it took so long to open it completely. And we created quite the current. This is one of those culverts that could be potentially dangerous. If I wasn't standing off to the side, the middle there, one slip, that in, you're in. This culvert has so much power going right now. And this thing would be probably a hundred times more dangerous if the water was a foot deeper. Because then you'd have a delta P situation if that whole thing was under quite a bit. Just look at the current. This is going to drop the beaver pond back down to the culvert level. Which means is the water level will be out here by morning. It's not a big pond. That being said, there's probably still millions of gallons here that will drain during the overnight time. This whole swamp is going to drop approximately probably two feet or so. Now looking around, that looks like the only beaver lodge I can see. It's quite small, which means it'll take some time for them to build this back. A small lodge like that, there's probably only a few. I've seen lodges bigger than an automobile, and they can house up to a dozen beavers. There's not many here by the looks of it. So this will probably take a few weeks to become a problem again. And I know the DOT comes out here and does this all the time. What I found there, considering winter and considering this just thawed about one month ago for this area of Connecticut, the beavers probably haven't been working a lot. A lot of this was probably from last year. But let's go see what's on the other side of the road. Look at that. Look at the big whirlpool it created on this side. That thing's blasting. Truly awesome. Look at the current it's making way out there. See that current way out there? Awesome. Beautiful skies tonight. All right, this is what it looked like before. Not much flow. Now take a look at what it looks like after we unblock the culvert. If we're in the area, we'll check on this again. But until then, I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching. And have a good evening. I love those beautiful tree frogs singing. Good morning everyone. It's the next morning. We're here at the beaver pond. Wow. Smells like the ocean at low tide. We're back down to normal levels. Still hear a few tree frogs peeping even though it's daytime. They come really active later on. Hey, I see a few ducks over there in the swamp. Yeah, you can tell by the water grass and the things growing. This is about where it usually is. It's a, it looks like maybe four inches, five inches below where it typically would be. But we drained back. This probably drained back only in a few hours, but it got dark. Look at us, we're here the next morning. Does it look like the beavers have come back to do anything? Wow, look at the mic on that rock. That rock, I don't know if you could see. 
through the camera, but that is like one of the most shiny rocks I've ever seen. Did the beavers come back to do anything? No, it doesn't look like they did anything overnight. We're drained back so much. Yesterday, look, the water was about up to here. See the dirty water line? So we probably dropped this back about 18 inches or so. This is about where it'll stay. When the beavers put this thing, it's a small pond. They can rise. I bet beavers, if they were determined enough, just a few of them, they could get this thing back up a foot in 24 hours. But to be honest, there might not even be any here. Where's that lodge I saw yesterday? Yeah, there is a lodge back there. It actually may be an abandoned lodge. Because this causes so many problems with flooding, I would not be surprised at all if the DOT has moved them, trapped the beavers, and relocated them. Would not be surprised at all if that happened. Awesome, the difference from yesterday. And here's a before and after. All right, now let's look across the street today and see. Oh good, look at that, we got some skunk cabbage coming out. That stuff's rude. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho, that duck scared me so much. Oh, I feel bad now. We gotta leave, we're gonna leave. That duck will be right back, don't worry. Look at that. Wow, there's a ton of duck eggs in there. Can you see how many there really are? There's a bunch of them. We don't wanna disturb this duck. I'm gonna look up now online. How long does it take for duck eggs to hatch and be out of the nest? And just in case someone knows where this location is, we'll not post it until after that date just to protect the ducks. All right, this is what it looked like before. Now take a look at what it looks like after. And after. Hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Big pig rock.
good. Look at that. We got some skunk cabbage coming out. That stuff's real. Whoa! Oh, that duck scared me so much. <laughs>